Hello everyone and welcome to Pokey MMO. Uh, I'm Adamantium and uh, this is my first ever YouTube video um, and I've decided to play Pokey MMO. As it says, it's no bullshit, just games and uh, if you're a Pokemon fan, this game is absolutely perfect. Um, it's basically, as it says, an MMO based on Pokemon Red, the remake of the original Red and Blue Pokemon. Um, obviously, as you can see, you can create your own character. Um, you have your own little sprite, you can change skin tone, hairstyle, eyes, all sorts. Um, and then I believe hats and gloves are things that you can buy in from an online store or from the uh, the gambling centre in the, uh, the fourth city, I forgot what it's called. Um, you can use your chips to buy new items, uh, which is really cool. So yeah, we're going to go for our first character. Um, hopefully he's going to let me call him Adamantium. Uh, I have a feeling it won't, so we might have to change it. Uh, so if we go through skin tones, uh, a bit of a tan, a bit more of a tan, and the black. I think I'm just going to go for skin one, uh, hair, uh, high toe, ivy, uh, that one's pretty cool. I'm going to change the colour. Go for this is pretty much my colour hair. <laughs> Some might call it ginger, I call it strawberry blonde. Uh, angry eyes, calm eyes, uh, default or happy. Uh, we'll go for angry. Uh, no, actually, we'll go for calm. I'm quite a calm character. Uh, Fish hair, angry eyebrows. Uh, what about just a beard? Yeah, we'll give him a beard. I don't have one, but. He'll look pretty cool with a beard. Top sleeves. I don't think this works to be honest. Uh, what colour top should we go for? Let's go for a red. Red top. Oh, let me click. This is good. Uh, that's about a blue top. That looks pretty cool. Um, shoes. Boots. With colour. Just give me black shoes. And leggings. Okay, what kind of colour goes with blue? Uh, green. Uh, orange. Uh, what colour have I sort of to this side from? For some reason, these reds aren't very red. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Blue and red. Fishing rod. Yeah, red bicycle. Can't change. Okay, so try and call him Adamantium, that's what I look like on my bike. Uh, and my rival name is Jamie, uh, Jamie's actually my brother. Uh, we did used to have a lot of Pokemon battles when we were kids. So yeah, let's see if it works, I don't think it will. Yeah, character name already exists. Okay, can we have Adamantium? Adamantium. Okay. Let me do it, create character. Yes, oh, Benesuke is my other character. Uh, the name is actually a Japanese name. I'm not Japanese, I'm British. Um, but I thought it fits in well with the Pokemon theme. So we'll start with Adamantium. And here we are in our nice little house in Pallet Town. As you can see down here, here's the chat. Uh, type in hello, send, and it comes up here. So, yes, yeah, so it is an MMO. There is uh, other players. Uh, here's my mother. Mom, right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Alright, so we're going to look for Professor Oak. Don't know why there's so many chairs. Oh my god, we're glitching out already. Uh, it does have a few issues and I think with fraps running, uh, <laughs> that won't help either. So obviously here's all the guys, all the other players. Uh, this guy has a... Uh, Scissor... Uh, I can't remember what this Pokemon's called, but yeah, it's the Evolver Cypher. Um, this game, obviously, it's, it's set in uh, Fire Red, but you can catch Pokemon from the first three Pokemon games, so Red uh, is Gold and Ruby. Okay, Oak, it's unsafe, while Pokemon live in tall grass. Uh, you need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know, here, come with me. So, obviously, to get the game rolling, we start with Oak. Uh, he brings us into his lab. Uh, so obviously all these guys are starting out as well. Jamie Grams, I'm fed up with waiting. 
Oh, Jamie, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Adamantium. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. -ha. The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old days, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Oh, be patient, Jamie. You can have one, too. So, I'll see which one to the, uh, the free Pokemon. We have Bulbasaur. I see Bulbasaur is your choice. It's very easy to raise. So, I'd mention, would you, uh, do you want to go with the grass Pokemon Bulbasaur? Nope, not quite yet. Uh, hmm, Squirtle is your choice. It's one worth raising. So, I'd mention, you decided on the water Pokemon Squirtle. Uh, it doesn't help that they have this in the way. And finally, ah, Charmander. Here's your choice. You should raise it patiently. So I'd mention gaming. You're claiming the five Pokemon Charmander. Um, in my other character, I chose Bulbasaur. Uh, I always like choosing Bulbasaur in this game because uh, it's a grass Pokemon. As it said, it's easy to raise. It um, it's strong against rock, so it's easy to beat Brock. It's also strong against water, so it's easy to beat Misty. Um, so I like choosing it just because it's kind of an easy sort of. Uh, an easy Pokemon to beat the first two gym leaders with. It's a lot harder to beat uh, Lieutenant Surge uh, uh, with his electricity. I also like choosing it because um, I don't really like the grass Pokemon in this game. I think uh, Bellsprout and Oddish are pretty weak and I don't really like the fact that they have to be evolved with, uh, with grass stones. I think that's kind of uh, not a cheaty way but it's just kind of like a bit of a cop out for me. Oh, I thought I clicked on it then. <laughs> Um, and Charmander, I'm not a massive fan of Charmander to be honest, I don't really like Charizard, uh, I think it's, uh, like people are going to kill me for saying it, but I do think it's a bit overrated, um, yeah, uh, so I think I'm not going to pick Charmander this time round, I'm in fact going to go with uh, Squirtle, the water Pokemon, uh, I really like Blastoise, I like Wartortle, um, he's good against Brock, he's obviously not great against uh, Misty, but hopefully I'll find a Pokemon that can beat water. Uh, so Adamantamin, you decided to take the water Pokemon Squirtle. Yes. This Pokemon is already quite energetic. Adamantium uh, okay, so my own name. Adamantium received the Squirtle from Professor Oak. And Jamie takes this one then. So he obviously goes for Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur strong against water. And if he chose Charmander, he'd obviously choose a water Pokemon because Squirtle's strong against fire. And if I chose Bulbasaur, he'd choose Charmander. His fire's strong against grass. Uh, I like this guy's name. Badass old man. Very, very cool. Uh, so yeah, so after you choose your first Pokemon, Jamie, uh, or your rival, obviously wants to fight you. Wait, Edimentium, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. So, yes. So our first battle, uh, my level 5 squ Squirtle versus level 5 Bulbasaur. Uh, hopefully, I should beat him. Jamie would like to battle. Okay, go Squirtle, go Bulbasaur. So you only have these two very basic moves, Tackle or Tail Whip. I believe he has Tackle and Growl. I think Charmander has Scratch and Growl, so I'm going to go over to Tackle. Critical hit, so that's a great start. Oh, he's going to use Tackle. Uh, normally, a lot of the time, they'll just use their, their their kind of passive move. So Growl lowers your attack, which obviously makes your attack weaker. Um, and Tail Whip lowers the opponent's defense, which makes your attack stronger. Uh, but I think I've got this one in the bag. Luckily, I got a critical hit on the first go, so that was very uh, handy. Okay, for a Bulbasaur fainted, and the Squirtle gained 6, 7 XP points. Which gets me up to level 6, which is very nice. Player defeated rival Jamie. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Adamantium got $80 for winning. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon... I'll make my Pokemon... <laughs> I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Adamantium, Gramps, smell you later. And off he goes to be ever pawn by me at every chance we get. Um, in the game, you can uh, set it up so that you have a Pokemon to follow you. You just need the Pokemon Gold ROM. Uh, Professor Oak may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. I study Pokemon's Professor Oak's aid. So this guy, well, I don't know if it's the same guy, but it's the same sprite. Kind of follows you around on this and gives you free stuff. Uh, okay, so let's go out. Uh, 
if you go down back to your mother, she will uh, hopefully heal me. Oh, my Pokemon's healed anyway. Uh, I think as well, if you check the computer up here, uh, it should have a potion in, I think, which I forgot to take before. I oh, know, you can't do it in this game, you won't let me click on it. So anyway, so let's uh, let's begin our journey. Oh no, it's, it's lagging again. Um, I think for this game, obviously, most of you guys will know if you've played Pokemon, it is very grindy. Um, oh, look, look. I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Trainer tips. Press start to open the Pokemon menu. Uh, well, I don't have start, so thanks for the help, but it's not really needed. Um, yeah, the game is very grindy, obviously, yeah, that's the point of it, to get your Pokemon up to levels. Um, I work at the Pokemart, it's part of the community chain, selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go, I'll obtain the potion. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's very grindy, it's kind of the point of the game, to obviously get your Pokemon up levels, uh, to then be able to compete against stronger trainers and eventually win the Pokemon League. Um, I think for the first video I'll probably show most of the battles because you know it's uh, it is the first time. Obviously, I'm thinking a lot of you will know how Pokemon works, but some people might not. Um, so for the first video, I'll probably put in most of the battles, but after that, I'll uh, I'll edit out most of the grinding because it can get very repetitive and very boring, even for when you're playing it. So yeah, so that's how I plan to, uh, to make these battles work, these these videos work. Um, I'm also planning on keeping them to about 20 to 30 minutes uh, per video. Um, I know myself, I'm a big YouTube kind of watcher. I watch a lot of commentators. Um, and I also, you know, I work a full time job. I do other things outside of my job. And I know how hard it can be for people to watch YouTube videos, especially when they're like running up to an hour long. Uh, so I'm hoping to keep these relatively short uh, and compact. Okay, so we've got a fight via Pidgey. Um, I haven't really thought about what my lineup for my Pokemon is uh, in this game. Uh, but a Pidgey might feature in it. It's a good Pokemon. It's uh, the final evolvement Pidgey art is really cool. Really strong. Uh, but at the minute I'm just going to try and get my Squirtle up. And the rival chooses the Pidgey as well, which is a bit... Okay, level 7 and learn bubble. See, obviously, all these guys, you know, cliche, went with the Charmander. <laughs> yeah. No, I do like Charmander, I just I just don't like it as much as Squirtle or Bulbasaur. Okay, so we're in the first city. I forgot what it's called. Welcome to your Pokemon Center. Would you like to take your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes, please. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We'll just your Pokemon to full health. Pokemon Center until you're tired, hurt, or faint with Pokemon. They make all Pokemon completely healthy. Please feel free to use that PC in the corner. The receptionist told me so, it's, kind of, it's so kind of fair. Um, yeah, for these guys, the interaction, if you right click on them, uh, these are all the interactions you can have. Dual, Whisper, Trade, Add, Friend, or Block. Um, a lot of times you get jewels, but sometimes you have to be careful because you might be in the first city but uh, a lot of Pokemon trainers, you know, uh, they may have been here for a long time and uh, may have really strong Pokemon, so be careful who you, who you duel. It does actually come up with what the average uh, of their, they have, so you'll be able to tell if their average is level 50 and you've only got a level 7 Squirtle uh, that you might not want to fight them. Uh, this guy over here. Uh, the reason they have this really cool skin uh, is because you can you can actually buy them. Like if you click on the gift shop, uh, vanity items, vanity items, you can buy all these like masks and hats uh, and wigs and stuff. So it's kind of a cool way uh, for the you know the, the developers to make money. Oh god, this pit is so uh, trade no. Um, yeah, it's 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 quite laggy. For some reason, they added all this water. Like I'm sure there is a reason for it, but for me, it just it just totally knackers my computer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
And this place here also seems to be a, a big meeting place. I remember when I first logged on in my other character, there was about 30 people just stood around here, all battling, trading. Uh, I think there was a 6v6 battle on as well, which uh, was pretty cool. Okay, so the kind of first mission in the game is uh, to come into this Pokemon. Here. Pokemon, uh, hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? I had a mansion receive Oak's parcel from the Pokemon receptionist. Oh. So, yeah, so um, to get the ball rolling, you have to take this parcel back to Oak in Pallet Town. Um, because if you don't, I'm not sure if it's the same on this. Yeah, this guy won't let you pass. I think he complains about his morning coffee. Yeah. This is private property. Yeah, he needs his morning coffee. So uh, you can't go through until you do it. This is the Pokis school, I believe. Uh, th these aren't clickable. You can't. Well, she wasn't anyway. I knew she. Oh, okay. Be sure to read what's on the blackboard carefully. Uh, this is basically the basics. <laughs> basic, the basics. Of Pokemon uh, tells you what status problems during the battle. Uh, the blackboard list Pokemon status problems during the battle, but you can't read it. Um, if you go this way, can I actually use? If I um, go this way, this is quite a cool place to train your Pokemon. There's a lot of Mankeys and Pidgeys and Rattatas, um, but if you go too far. Your rival's up here, and he has a, I think he has a Pidgey and a, uh, a Bulbasaur you'll have. Uh, quite, not not too high level, I think they're like level 9. And further this way is the Pokemon League. But I think first, before we do that, we'll uh, we'll take this, this uh, parcel back to work. Oh, yeah, I love the music in these games. Uh, it takes me back to when I was a, a young boy. Playing on Pokemon Blue on my uh, Game Boy Color. Okay, another Rattata. Go Squirtle. And we'll use our bubble attack on it. Bubble again. Not Tailwind, no! No, it's my defense. And one marble wall to kill him off. Oh, good man, look at that See, this is what I mean, it can get uh, very, very boring and repetitive, especially when uh, you find these level 2 Pokemon. Bonus. Squirtle will use tackle. Did he fail? Yes. Uh, see, yeah, for some reason it's doing this again. Um, there was a bit as I was going into Viridian Forest. Uh, it's again, it's where we've all they've added water in, and uh, yeah, at one point I just couldn't get past it. Like the water just wouldn't let me through. It just kept lagging me back and back and back, and I just thought I was gonna have to quit the game completely because it wouldn't let me uh, go through. But eventually, I managed to get over the water. Because for some reason, oh no, don't kill me. You can surf over the water, uh, which obviously you can't normally do until you find surf. Use that potion soon. This guy's a Steelix, looks like it could be a shiny one. Pretty cool. I'll uh, just heal up first. Thanks, Mom. Oh, good, you look resty. Take care now. Okay, if you go back in here to Oak. Give him his parcel back. Can I have stand here so you can see my beautiful face? Oh, Elementium, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a po you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. 
What's that? Do you have some for me? I'm hunting to deliver those parcel. Ah, it's for custom Pokeball. I had it on order, thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot, what did you call me for? Oh, right, I have a request for you two. On the desk for is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Adamantium and Jamie, please take these with you. Adamantium received a Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So, here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Adamantium received five Pokeballs. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, I'll le leave it to me. Adamantium Gaming, I helped say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a tail map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Adamantium. Ha 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 ha. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Ha, ah, well we'll see about that, Jamie, because I'm going straight round to your place. Yeah, go in here, talk to his lovely sister. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, best the lady of him. Here, this will help you. I had a mention game room, we've seen the town map from Daisy. So yeah, you get the town map. Uh, I don't really need it. I've played this game enough to know where I'm supposed to go. Um, yeah, what's this guy saying? Yeah, these guys are like the hardcore trainers. Oh, oh for some reason I can get on here. But yeah, it does this when it doesn't want you to pass. But never mind. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to leave this uh, episode here. Uh, I think it might be a bit shorter than I was originally planning, but that's basically the, the very basics of the game, the first episode, uh, and really starting our adventure with our Squirtle, our level 7 Squirtle. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, please remember to leave me a like or a comment, or um, you know, if you want to message me, uh, if there's any Pokemon you want to see me fight or capture, uh, just let me know. So thanks a lot guys, bye bye.